Well, welcome back, everybody, to Single Malt Sunday. I'm Stephen. This is Northwest Small Batch Brewing. You know, I was thinking, I need a jingle. Somebody should come up with a Single Malt Sunday jingle for me, you know, to start off the uh, show here, you know. Single malt, jingle malt. I don't know. Anyway, this is um, Ab Ar Abelor. I can't talk today. Abelor, and um, I'm going to pronounce this wrong because I'm not Scottish, but uh, Abunad. And I know 100% it's not pronounced right, but that's how I've heard it from American speakers, which is not correct, but it is what it is. So uh, this one is one of those whiskeys that I like so much that I don't drink it because I don't want to just run out of it because I'm going to have to replace it if I finish it because it's that good. Um, this is a space side whiskey. And uh, this is one that will appeal to the real whiskey um, you know, lovers, because this is a cask strength whiskey. What I mean by that is that the more you drink whiskey, you start to tend to move away from the lower ABV stuff, because even though the higher ABV stuff is harder to kind of deal with because it burns more, it's got more of that alcohol burn, but the flavor you get from that increased alcohol is significant. And uh, people really go for that the more they become bigger drinkers of whiskey. So this one is non-chill filtered, which makes sense considering it's 61.3% ABV. And uh, it is finished in Oloroso sherry butts. So hence the color, which is pretty dark from the sherry and the cask influence. Um, other than that, I guess I could tell you uh, Avalor is owned by Chivas Brothers, which may or may not be familiar to you. Uh, it was founded in 1879. Actually, it was before 1879. There was a, uh, there was some stuff that happened ahead of time, but they moved, came under new, mo new ownership. So we're just going to, we're just going to say 1879. And I think that's what it says on the, the, uh, bottle anyway. I should have left the bottle out for you. I don't know why I hid it back in here. Like it's some kind of redheaded stepchild secret, but there you go. There's the bottle. Anyway, on the nose. I mean, you get a lot of the sherry influence, of course. I get a lot of orange, like citrus. And I would say spice, but almost like a floral spice. A little bit of cinnamon in there, but uh, mostly it's, it's the uh, sherry. It's very, very sherry forward. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I mentioned this before that when you're nosing a whiskey, it helps keep your mouth and your nose open. If you're only breathing through your nose, you're only getting a small percentage of the actual scent. And, um, oh my gosh, just that first sip. Wow, what a long finish on this. And the oils that are clinging to the glass is pretty wild. Uh, as they say, this, this baby's got legs. Yeah. Um, man, that is something. Uh, but yeah, when you, when you, when you take a, when you smell it, you want to, uh, try to breathe your mouth and the nose at the same time. Cause you're going to get more of the scent. You're going to get more of the smell that way. Also, after I take my first drink, I had this little trick where I smell the side of the glass because a little bit of the whiskey will end up on the side of the glass. And I almost get like a, uh, nut, like it's not hazelnut. Oh, I just got a huge hit of honey, like honeycomb honey off of that. Something about smelling the side of the glass because the whiskey coats a little bit of the glass and you're not getting the alcohol this time. You're just getting to smell the whiskey when you do that. Also, some people will take a little bit on their hands and rub it together and then smell your hands because it warms it up and you're just getting that smell of the whiskey. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um... So obviously you're getting the sherry influence. It's rather sweet. A little bit of cherry, a uh, lot of honey, orange, and the finish, the, the, the finish lasts for days. I'm telling you, you take a sip and like 20 minutes later, you're still like, mm, that's a good whiskey. <laughs> anyway, um, in case you hadn't noticed, this is one of my favorites. And uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. 
I can't remember what it costs. I think it's probably a little bit on the expensive range, mostly because it's a um, cast strength, but um, it's worth it, in my opinion. I mean, you know, you only live once, right? But um, this is a good one. I mean, this is a really good one. If you have the uh, bandwidth to get it, I highly recommend it. And um, that's all I'm going to say about that. I'll be back in another week for another whiskey out of my collection here. And until then, sláinte.